Good morning, guys. I hope you are having an awesome morning. We are having an awesome morning. We started off yesterday so crazy. We even had problems with our internet yesterday. It was terrible. Anyway, we are back online. Everything is good. We had somebody who came, had to fix, change out our modem and fix some stuff. And I don't know what happened, but our video today, for today, yesterday, I guess for you guys, is up. Finally, it's 10 a.m four hours after our normal upload, but it is up. Phew, and so hopefully that won't ever happen again. Anyway, girls are busy at home school. She's over here counting on her fingers. Yes, you do. You are awesome at math. She's doing word problems. I don't know how much this one is. All right, just wait, I'll come back and help you. Word problems are the worst. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I hate word problems. This girl. <coughs> one Takes every opportunity that she can to, as soon as I pick up the camera, she's like, yes, we get a break. So she's having a break. We came downstairs this morning and we all looked outside and there was no horse waiting out there for us. We were hoping whoever sent us the flowers would send us a horse today, but nothing, right? Maybe they haven't came yet. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep on the lookout, won't we? Maybe there'll be a horse there tomorrow. <clears throat> yeah. Or maybe there'll be a horse there in time for your birthday. Then I'd get to find it at my Yeah, birthday. you would. Anyway, we are headed back to the barn today. I'm super excited. I love being there. I'm glad our trainer is back. It's always so much more fun when she's there. I'm up in the attic and it is starting to get chilly. I'm looking for all of our winter stuff. It's cold outside and literally I cannot find anything. I can't find our winter coats. I have no idea what I did with them. We cleaned up this attic space not that long ago and I swear to God, I cannot find our coats. I know you're in here somewhere. If you guys see a, see a coat sticking out somewhere, scream and point to it. But honestly, I don't think they're up here. When we cleaned out the attic, I bet you I got rid of it. I either threw them out, sent them to the secondhand store. I bet you that's what happens because that happens to me every single year. Either that happens or I think that that happens and then I go and buy new stuff and then in the spring I find the coats. So I think that means we're headed winter shopping this weekend. Well, I'm home, so I decided to get a haircut. That's what I do when I'm home. And uh, finally, the internet's fixed, so we are going to just to go to the dollar store now, get a few things. Right, I'm looking for like some smelly stuff to put on the carpet, to clean the carpet. Where's the stuff to clean the carpet? They're new. I've never seen them before. What's new? Dog bowls. Orange juice. Dog bowls. Yeah, I need to get one till I buy the big one that stands up. Because she doesn't have anything really, does she? That's uneasy. That's good for food. I use the other one for her water. There's a blue one too. But I gotta find Abby's old bowl. I need some need it. If that's what you're going to get, then that's what you're going to get. Found it. There we go. You pour it on the carpet. That's pot pourri. That's lemon. All right, we'll go with a lemon, melon. Have you ever used this before? You sprinkle it on the carpet, let it sit for a while, and then you vacuum it off. Sometimes I use baking soda, but baking soda doesn't do anything. This leaves a nice little smell after. Good one. You see? Her here. Yeah? <coughs> Why? There. You blue. Yeah, unicorn. Unicorn horn. How many of you people use a unicorn horn? Oh, it looks like a unicorn. Yeah, he is. I like bump him out, make him use his corners. Remember, you want to make him ride nice and straight. I 
use that leg to see her. I know it's harder now, isn't it? <laughs> That's it, good corner. You wanna make your own path. Don't ride in the path of others, create your own. Down the center of the arena to the letter C. Stretch those heels. We're going to change direction and go to F. So now right leg, put them into the corner. go to the mall and go shopping kind of girl. Uh, didn't like hanging out, you know, doing my makeup and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, us I either. Never, I didn't have a barn that I could go and hang out with. Yeah. Kids. I had a barn I could hang out with myself. Up into our light seat. So I wanted to get her. Gabby fell down and I missed it. Gabby fell, flew. Good job, Gabby.
So you had fall number three. Is it number three or number four? Number three. Lucky number three, you're done now. Everything? Blue, jasmine, blue. Blue, jasmine, and blue. So how was it? Were you scared? <clears throat> no, it was actually kind of fun when you don't <laughs> land on your butt. What did you land on? A knees. On your knees? Yeah, I went like this, and I went like this. <laughs> she did a twirl in the air. Yeah. So what it was actually fun. I should be a ballerina. An acrobat. Back. You should do trick riding. Um, the reason why I fell today, because I actually fell, is because I wasn't expecting it. And um, because... You trotted with those stirrups? <clears throat> because I trotted with those stirrups and it took up all my leg muscles. So you couldn't hold on because your legs are weak? <clears throat> yeah. Gotcha. So for Sophie's birthday party, why don't we put the table right here and then make this like our table with all the food and stuff. Do you think this would be too small? Yeah, too small. We need two tables. Do they have tables? Well, this is a cute little table. How many kids are coming? Six, and there's six seats. Right, so but we can sit there and the table can have all the food. Yeah, but it's kind of small. Do you think this table is too small? And look, at, could you imagine Jacob sitting here? Well, he could probably do it. I'll bring a little booster seat for him. Two, four, six. Yeah, this table could work for eating. I'll just have to get a two tablecloths then. And you just need the carrots and apples. For yeah, food. so yeah, we should have carrots and apples <laughs> for food. <laughs> just joking. Obviously, we're going to have super yummy food, even though carrots and apples are super yummy. But maybe we can feed those to the horses. My granddaughter, Brooklyn, who just started school this year, some of you guys know her from our videos, she went to school today and it was her very first library day. So she got her very first library book today, ever, and this is the book that she got. Isn't that hilarious? She got a horse book. She's never really shown interest in horses and she's kind of afraid of them. So I can't believe she got a book about horses. I wish that we lived closer and I could read it to her. All right, so a comment of the day. Can you guys see the girls back there? Anyway, okay, so comment of the day goes to Catanical, and I know we've done, chosen her before, but this is really relevant to today's video. So she says, of the two horses, the gelding sounds like the better option. However, he is not ideal. The fact that he's 15 years old and has minimal jumping experience may not suit your needs. The girls don't need a champion dressage horse. Get them a happy, easy-going all-rounder that will take them jumping up to 90 centimeters. Help their flat work and per flat work and perhaps take them out hacking eventually. The girls do not yet have the riding ability or train or experience to train a horse to jump correctly. It takes more than just getting them over the pole. I realize that the following horse would be impossible for you to buy as it's for sale in Ireland, but it is a great example of the type of horse you should be looking for. Look for a horse pony that's being advertised as suitable for riding club. And then she sent a link and she said, this pony is ideal in size, experience, and temperament for what you guys need. And that's Catanical. So the reason I chose that comment is because I hear everything that you're saying. And I think what the problem, one of the big problems with us mm -hmm. is that we're all from different areas and it's different here. We don't have pony club. There are no horses gonna be advertised um, as suitable for pony club because we just don't have it here. And whoa. Ziggy, don't eat me. And um, I think that what we're going to find here is going to be completely different than what you guys are going to find. And another thing that I have not made clear yet is that even though our kids cannot teach a horse to jump, our trainer can. She's really great at all that kind of stuff. And she is willing to do that. So today I told our trainer, hey, I found a horse and he seems kind of good for us, but I'm not sure. But I noticed that on Facebook, you guys are friends, so maybe you know the hurt horse. He's trying to Stop eat eating! You. Oh, he's licking me. Let me lick. I love when he licks me. Anyways, so she said, oh, I know exactly the horse that you're talking about. She said that she thought about that horse for herself, for her riding program, and that she knows him, and she thinks he would be a perfect fit for us. The reason she didn't go in for pursue him is because he was a little bit out of her price range for, for a riding school horse. So even though it seems so different, what we need to look for and what you guys would look for where you live, I think honestly that the differences in where we live, I mean, even in Ontario that there's a bunch of differences like where we live, 
there we live in like we live in an area where there is nothing it is it is just like all farmland here honestly and we don't have pony clubs we don't have special programs this barn that we found is like the most special one that we've ever come across why are you trying to eat me why are you trying to eat my shoes guys anyway thanks for the comment though i really love reading any kind of comment especially those kind because they really make me think and they make me look more and they make me um they they educate me just that little bit more anyway i'm going to end today's video we'll see you guys tomorrow bye guys bye and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below